Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zartus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove Android restrictions in File Manager. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. Now, sometimes customizing or in this case, installing apps or adding some mods into certain apps uh, can be frustrating, especially if there are restrictions on what folders, what files you can access here. So just to give you an idea, I have a default app that came with my phone here, the file manager app. Now, by the way, I'm using Android 14 here. So if you're wondering uh, what's the version of my phone or the Android version I'm currently using. So when we go to storage here and basically go to one of the Android folders and go to one of the folders, it's going to say can access items by using Android storage access framework instead. So in this case, some folders will not be accessible to you due to how things are set up and Android, which is something really unfortunate, but there are some things that you could do here, but you won't be able to necessarily lift the restriction itself. But in this case, I'll be showing exactly how to uh, do an alternative, alternative way here. So yeah, so the default apps here on Android doesn't have the capabilities of restrict or removing the restrictions itself, but uh, we could basically access another app here that would actually lift some of those restrictions. So in this case, I want to go ahead and open up a uh, Google Play Store here. And what I like using is going to be Z Archiver. Now you could also use other apps out there that if you want. Uh, personally, I'm using Z Archiver here. But then again, uh, you could use whatever app that you saw out there. Or if there are any recommendations from a friend, you could go ahead and try that first. Because I'll be showing you exactly uh, what things you might want to consider here. But in this case, I'll go ahead and install the archiver here if you don't know any app yet. And what you need to do is you need to open up the archiver. So whenever a file system app is being installed into your uh, phone, sometimes it's going to ask permission to access system files or internal storage. So usually you answer yes to that. And But sometimes if you answer no, that would actually affect the capabilities and the security or the level that uh, a app can actually work. So what I like doing here is I want to check my settings here. So typically in the app itself, you want to press and hold on it. You want to click on the eye icon. And from here, it should open up the app info. Now I want to go to app permissions here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to basically allow any permissions if it actually requires that. Now, also alternatively, you could go to other permissions here. You can enable anything that actually uh, is um, uh, relevant to you. But yeah. So in this case, uh, if there are any permissions that is not allowed here, you might want to enable that first. But in this case, uh, when you, again, like what I said before, sometimes when, it, when you actually open up the app itself, it's going to ask permission to access inter inter internal storage. So just allow that whenever you first put it up. Now, if accidentally you can't turn that off, or uh, in this case, you can't reverse that, I would suggest you to uninstall the app and reinstall it again. And just uh, next time you access the app again, just answer yes whenever it pops up. Now, in this case, the great thing about this app here is whenever I access Android here and go to the OBB folder, as you can see, I'm able to actually access that. Now, I can even transfer files here if I want to, but yeah. So in this case, it's going to say ZR cover needs permission to install packages to access the Android OBB folder. Again, well, like I said before, just click on OK. And from here, you could go ahead and click on uh, this option here. You might get this pop up here. So be wary uh, if you're going to allow this. Again, do your own research if you have, or in this case, if you're using a different app and it's uh, requiring this one. Remember the dangers for this one. But again, I'm going to uh, allow this. Click on OK. Because if I want to install something in the OBB folder, I'll be able to install it in here. But yeah. So in this case, uh, once you've done that, what we need to do here is you just need to transfer some files here. So generally speaking, for you to remove the restrictions here, you just need to install an app that could actually install or access the internal storage itself. So alternatively, you could also connect your uh, Android device via PC and access the files itself via PC. So typically, it's by connecting your phone uh, into your uh, PC there and accessing the store internal storage. So you, typically it's going to be it's like a certain USB icon that you see on your PC or Windows. So you just need to access that and access the files inside. But yeah, so in this case, uh, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.